Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. We're here at the IMDb studio at Sundance 2018, and we're here to talk to the legend, Gus Von Sant. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. Good sir, uh, you're here with a movie called Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot. Right. Now, take us through it real quick. Uh, John Callahan was a local Portland cartoonist who you know, very slowly became known for his cartooning, first in just a school newspaper, and then the local weekly, and then being uh, syndicated in the v Village Voice, I believe, in LA Weekly. Mm. And um, our story is about his trouble with alcohol addiction, and how um, he had early in his life had an accident in a car and become a, a quadriplegic, and um, continued drinking and eventually um, overcame that and became a uh, known cartoonist. Unbelievable. The flick's been in development for two decades or more. People have been trying to tell yeah. a story. You've been trying to tell a story or others? I, I was the only one that I knew of. I think there was maybe one earlier try, but um, Robin Williams, after Good Will Hunting, he, just, he had happened to buy this book that John Callahan had written about his life. Mm. And John was a, a Portland guy, and I was a Portland guy, so I knew him a little bit just from seeing him on the streets. It's, except Robin had bought the book, and I was, and he said, "Do you want to develop it?" So yeah, I was, uh, I was working with writers in developing it back in the '90s and early 2000s. And you got to work with Joaquin again for is it the first time since To Die since For. Since To Die For, yeah, the first time. Which was like that was the movie where I noticed him in a big bad way. Like you broke that man in that movie. You created yeah. Joaquin Phoenix by putting <laughs> a camera on him and letting him shine. Now, a long story career. What drives you? Like, what is it that every day you're like, all right, one day I'm gonna make um, this movie. I'm gonna make this movie. Well, this morning there is an article about Qatar and their situation in the Middle East. Mm. And it, it's just like with like the drama within that, that and the Middle East, just it, like anything that's like an amazing story I'm drawn to, even though I've never been involved in a you know, geopolitical story, um, it just was like, it's day by day. Every every day, there's some story that I'm drawn to. So it's whichever one kind of like gets going. I think best piece of advice you could give, not just a young fil filmmaker, any filmmaker, this filmmaker. Best piece of advice you can hand down. I think for young filmmakers, it's it's sort of like you know, it's the old. Um, I guess Robert Town said, um, nobody knows anything. It's sort of like what you're thinking yourself. Make your own decisions and. Try not to listen too hard to you know everyone's advice because you'll go crazy.